previous video, Recording Acoustic Guitar Part 1, we recorded an acoustic guitar in the most basic manner, with just one mic, looking for the best placement for the best sound. We used a Marshall MXL 2001 and found the best sound 12 inches in front of the 12th fret, aiming about 45 degrees towards the body of the guitar. Let's listen to some other microphones at this location. The Levitt LCT640 is a large diaphragm multi-pattern condenser with three different filter modes to decrease low frequencies and three different attenuation settings to avoid distorting the mic when it is placed in front of loud sound sources. Here is the mic set to cardioid with no attenuation or low cut filter. We try two of the low cut modes to reduce some of the pronounced low end of this guitar. The Blue Reactor is another large diaphragm multi-pattern microphone with an outrageous and fun design. We tried all three of its polar patterns. Cardioid, which picks up sound from the front and rejects sound from the rear. Figure 8, which picks up sound from the front and the rear. And Omnidirectional, which picks up sound from all directions. The different patterns each pick up different amounts of room sound, but notice how the tone also changes. The Royer 122V is a ribbon mic rather than a condenser and features internal tube electronics for enhanced headroom and higher output level than you usually get from a ribbon mic. Like most ribbon mics, it has a figure eight polar pattern. This mic really brought out the low end, so we moved it a few inches farther away to lessen the lows by taking proximity effect into account. For an explanation of proximity effect, check out another one of our videos, Recording Bass Guitar Part 1. Next, we tried a few small diaphragm condenser mics. Small diaphragm mics have the advantage of very even tone for sounds that come from out to the side, so these are an excellent choice for instruments like the guitar that produce sound from all over. Here is an Audio-Technica AT4051 cardioid. This mic had a nice bright high end. We tried the Shure KSM-141 in the cardioid and omnidirectional modes.
and here's a Danish Pro Audio 4011 cardioid. Notice the smooth high end. And just for fun, we grabbed a Shure SM57LC, the legendary and very affordable dynamic mic of stage and studio. It always amazes me how good this mic sounds compared to much more expensive condenser microphones. We really liked all of these mics and felt that some handled the pronounced low end of this particular guitar better than others. In our next video, Recording Acoustic Guitar Part 3, we will record the guitar with two microphones at once and blend the sound.